So we have an n by n system of linear equations. So we basically have n equations with n variables, and it's represented by this matrix equation here. And we're assuming that the coefficient matrix, so that's A, is invertible. And in this problem, we're being asked to prove that the system has uh, the following unique solution. So in order to prove this, we have to prove two things. We first have to show that this is in fact a solution. And then we have to show that that solution is unique. Let's start by showing it's in fact a solution. So set x1 dot 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 xn equal to a inverse times the following column matrix. Okay, And now we just have to show that this is a solution. So what we're going to do is just basically plug it in into this equation up here. So then Let's carefully plug it in. We have, let me write it down here. We have A, and I'm going to replace uh, this column vector here, this column matrix here with, with this here. So it'll be A inverse B1 dot 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 B sub N. And then over here, we just simply have the Bs. So to show it's a solution, we just have to make sure that this equation is actually true. So if we're a little bit abusive here, we can use associativity. And A times A inverse, that's just simply I. So I skipped a step here. We should be using associativity first. OK. And so we get that. And then I times this column matrix is just the column matrix. So really easy to show that uh, we indeed have a solution, right? This is true. Uh, this is equal to this. So x1 dot 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 x sub n equal to a inverse times b1 dot 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 b sub n is a solution, right? So we've shown it is actually a solution. Now we just have to show that it's the only solution. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll take any other solution and then we'll show it must be equal to this one. So now let x1 dot 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 x sub n be a solution to the system. And we simply have to show that uh, it's equal to this. So because it's a solution to the system, that means that we have a times x1 dot 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 x sub n equal to b1 dot 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 b sub n. Okay, and a is invertible, so what we can do is uh, multiply this uh, on the left by a inverse. So then, multiplying on the left by a inverse, we have a inverse times a, and then we have the little x's here. And then we also have a inverse over here. And then using associativity, we have A inverse. I'll go ahead and show the step this time that uh, I skipped earlier. So this step is actually you know, required if you want to do, I guess, a, a rigorous proof, or at least be aware of it, because we do have to use it. And then A inverse times A, that's the identity. So we get this. And then we have A inverse, and then times our little Bs. And I times this column matrix here is simply the column matrix. And it's equal to that. So we've shown that whenever we have a solution, it must be this one. So that shows that the uh, solution is unique. And that's it. So we've proven that the system has a solution. And we show that any solution has to be equal to that one. So I hope that made sense.